Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And today, in addition to releasing iOS 10.0.3 exclusively for iPhone 7 and 7 Plus owners, Apple has seeded the fourth beta installment of iOS 10.1 to registered developers. And in today's video, we're going to go over really everything you need to know about iOS 10.1 beta 4 and also touch on jailbreaking. I don't really want to repeat myself too much though, so there's some additional information down below in the description. You will find some other videos there that definitely highlight more details. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. First of all, going to Apple's developer portal, again, which is exclusive to registered developers. But when we scroll down here, you will notice that for the iOS beta, we have iOS 10.1 beta 4, and that was seeded on today's date. Again, this is October 17th, 2016. What's also really interesting is that this is the first iteration of iOS 10.1 beta that Apple has also seeded to the public at the exact same time. Previous iterations of iOS 10.1 1 beta have been seeded to developers one day and then issued to public beta testers the next. So this is hopefully an indication that Apple is finally getting ready to issue iOS 10.1 to the masses for a widespread release. So guys, what does iOS 10.1 actually have to offer over its predecessor, currently being iOS 10.0.2 or 10.0.3 for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus? Great question. Even after four beta releases, iOS 10.1 is still mostly intended for the iPhone 7 Plus, the dual camera specifically. See, because of the two cameras, it enables a really awesome portrait camera mode feature inside of the regular camera application. And instead of just having regular images, you now have the option to take these portrait images, which again, keeps the subject of the photo in focus while blurring the background at varying levels of blur. It uses a nine layer depth map that again, it generates from the two cameras. It takes two pictures simultaneously, one with each lens, and then it's able to generate that depth map and again, apply that blur effect, which we see in full force right here. It's really awesome when it works well. And while that's great, what about beta four? What does it actually feature over beta three? Unfortunately, believe it or not, just like the third beta, there are no noticeable changes inside of the release notes for iOS 10.1 beta four, indicating that the majority of them are just behind the scene bug fixes and improvements improvements, the most prominent of which probably relates to today's earlier release of iOS 10.0.3 for the 7 and 7 Plus being that cellular data connectivity fix. Remember, 10.0.3 corrects an issue that select 7 and 7 Plus owners were experiencing, particularly those with Verizon as their carrier of choice, where their devices simply could not connect to the data network. So 10.1 Beta 4 presumably rolls this fix into iOS 10.1. Other than that, though, Though there are probably several other minor changes, but nothing really that the end user would notice. Unlike iOS 10.1 beta 2, which was really the last beta of iOS 10.1 that included any noticeable changes, just being related to the messages app and some other more direct bugs. Now, in order to install it, it's very simple because it is available to public beta testers. Now, all you have to do is just grab the public beta profile. If you actually want to upgrade to iOS 10.1, if you're currently jailbroken, of course, definitely definitely stay where you're at. But in your cards right now, there will be a link to my video where I actually discuss how to install iOS 10.1 beta. I'm not really going to go over it too much in today's video, but it's basically just installing the profile from beta.apple.com. It's really just as easy as that. Now, as for its release date, see, that's where things kind of start to get clouded and there are kind of a few conflicting factors at play here. For instance, iOS 10.1 releases seem to be speeding up. I mean, we have releases that are spaced approximately one week from one another at this point, and today marks the first beta that's not only seeded to developers, but also public beta testers at the exact same time. However, remember I said iOS 10.0.3, the second minor iOS 10.0.x update was released today? If Apple were planning on releasing iOS 10.1 to the public anytime soon, why wouldn't they just wait until the public version of 10.1 to roll those changes out to the masses? Well, see, that's a pretty great question. I think what we have to do is kind of way the change that iOS 10.0.3 brings to the table. Because see, it's pretty massive, even though it is a minor iOS 10.0.x update. I mean, it fixes something that's so integral to the iPhone that it wouldn't really function properly without it. And of course, it wouldn't be an iPhone without it. You need your phone
known for pretty much two things, calling, which we have down, and then data connectivity, which apparently select iPhone 7 and 7 Plus owners were experiencing issues with. So we have to be able to connect to our data network. So Apple wanted to get that fixed out as quickly as possible. Just because they released that minor 10.0.x update doesn't mean that they don't still have plans to release iOS 10.1 by the end of this month. Furthermore, it's highly likely that iOS 10.1 will be integral to the release of the Apple AirPod headphones. And I have talked about that before in my beta 3 video, which will be linked down below in the description. But since the AirPods are supposed to be released at the end of this month, that means we will probably also see the finalized public version of iOS 10.1 before October's out, hopefully. I will keep you guys completely updated and notified. Click the subscribe button down below next to my channel name, that way you won't miss out. And the reason I kind of went on a tangent there and we tried to nail down to the best of our abilities when iOS 10.1 is going to be released is because it may very well be integral to the release of the next Untethered Jailbreak. In fact, it's shaping up to be that way with each day that passes that a new iOS 10.0.x jailbreak isn't out. Remember guys, Pangu likes to release new jailbreak utilities for the latest iterations of iOS, and if there's one that's pretty major, like iOS 10.1 is, at least from an iPhone 7 Plus perspective, then they want to wait until said firmware is out before they release a new jailbreak. For full info on jailbreaking, definitely check out my playlist, also linked below, and even the video that I made earlier today on iOS 10.0.3. Again, at this point, Pengu is waiting for iOS 10.1 unless things change. If, for instance, Apple releases another major beta right after 10.1, drops, then we could see another delay in the release of the iOS 10 jailbreak, though it is unlikely, but because things are dynamic and not static, we won't really know until that happens, if it ever does. But I will keep you guys fully updated along the way, and if we were to try to pinpoint a possible release date, it would hopefully be one to two weeks following the release of iOS 10.1, the firmware that Pangu is currently targeting, remember, unless something changes that. And for even more frequent updates, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the High Cracker Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.